and welcome to another Low Country All Stars. I'm your host, Chloe G, and as always, I am joined by my co host, Matt Golden. Many of our games last week were canceled due to the high winds as well as the heavy rain that we experienced, and sincerely, we hope everybody out there was able to stay safe. Despite that, we were able to catch a wrestling match between Battery Creek and John Paul II, as well as some basketball games that went on around Beaufort County. So we're going to kick things off with that with a look at our Beaufort County scoreboard. On the girls' side, Beaufort was able to get a 47-32 win at North Charleston. Hilton Head Christian fell 32-64 against Camden. Hilton Head High was blown out 24-45 at Richmond Hill. Bluffton knocked off James Island 59-50. Well Branch crushed Branchville 52-8. Bridges Prep stomped Royal Live Oaks Academy 59-4. Cross Schools cruised against Southeast Homeschool Association 61-19. John Paul II bested Hilton Head Prep 47-28. And May River took down Colleton County 37-26. Matt, a ton of awesome games in the girls' division, but now we are going to take a look over at the boys. Bluffton, they traveled to North Charleston, but unfortunately for them, they lost 53-38. to May River took the long haul up to Colleton County. They also dropped the ball on this one, losing 61-52. And Hilton Head, who has struggled this season, kind of kept up with those struggles as they lost to Lucy Beckham 68 to 60. Whale Branch traveled to Branchville and absolutely stomped them out 80 to 46. So as we can see our Beaufort County teams kind of struggled when they went out of county but when they're matched up with a, an in-county foe they seem to do pretty well. What, what do you think is the reason behind that? Well, as we creep closer to the postseason, I think it is very important to start taking kind of a bit of a look at what our teams are doing. But you're completely right. We see these head-to-head -head close matchups like when Battery Creek played against Bluffton, but then whenever they're traveling to Charleston or the upstate, they just struggle. I think this might have to do with maybe the resources, whether it be, you know, the athletes or the school, school size or even just being on the road. Because, you know, when you're traveling over an hour to get to these games, without a doubt, that's going to affect any team. So I think if they're able to, you know, get some home seed berths for the postseason, that could be beneficial for our Beaufort County teams. 100% agree. I think both of us know that, you know, traveling just it messes your whole routine up. Next week, we'll take a closer look at the division, but for now, we are going to take a look at this wrestling match. It was senior night for the Dolphins, and they were to, able to go out in fashion. Kicking off things at 132 pounds, the Dolphins were able to jump out with a quick pin in the first period with one whole minute left. That's a way to gain confidence early in a match. JP2 had an immediate answer picking up a pin of their own at the 138 division, nodding things up at 6-6. Six and six. And moving on to the 144 weight class, things were exciting, kicking off to an immediate fast pace. Although it didn't end in a pin, John Paul II was able to win on a tech fall, giving the Warriors that edge. Warriors kept that hot streak going, picking up another pin in the first round of the first period of 150 pounds. The rest of the meet ended up flying by. I'm talking less than an hour of the total meet. And that's because Battery Creek was able to pick up several pins over the next couple of matchups. And that's really what kind of sealed the deal for the Dolphins. In the 3A division, Battery Creek is ranked 10th, and Buford is not far behind at 16th. Gunner DeGroote is a real standout, ranked first at 175 pounds, as well as being a reigning state champion. Andrew Legree is ranked second in the 157 weight class, and he was also a state qualifier last season. There is certainly a lot to be excited about going forward. And Matt, the wrestling state championships are coming up here pretty quickly at the end of January, and I am so excited to see what all of our talented wrestlers are really made of. And now, that's all the time we're going to have for today. But I want to thank everybody for taking the time to tune in here at Low Country All-Stars. <laughs> 